Right, we'll be mixing some drinks for our friends. So we had this idea for this segment. Uh, we asked Josh, who is a mixologist over at the Raven Bar, right? That's right, Raven Lounge. And it's not like a rave, it's like a bird raven, Yes, right? like, it, like Edgar Allan Poe is our theme. Actually. Oh, so it's the Raven. Yeah. Yes. You know, uh, Edgar Allan Poe was, uh, has a relationship with Philadelphia. He spent a lot of time here. Lot that's time. true. Anyway, Raven is over on Sansom. Sansom Street, that's right. Near 17th. Uh huh, right across from the Sophie Tell. 1718 Sansom Street. Nice, I've been in there. Oh, yeah. It's a nice place. So here's the thing. We just don't want to make regular drinks. Mm -hmm. You've invented some drinks that we can duplicate at our house. True? That's right. What's the first one? Well, we're going to start off with some champagne. Oh, jeez. We're Happy New Year style. Happy New Year! Yeah, because what's New Year without champagne? All right, so this is actually called a Cure Royale. I've heard of Cure Royale. Yeah, it's rather simple, um, but it's a great way to take your cocktails up a notch. My, uh, everyone drinks champagne. My girlfriend of eight years yes. named Tamara, the woman I should have married. Mm. That was her favorite drink. Cure, Cure Royale? I think oh, it's I'm really sorry. popular it for you? with women. Yeah. It's one of those, it's delicious. What is Cure? Uh, Cure Royale, um, that's just the name. Uh, this is Chambord, which is a top shelf raspberry liqueur. Um, so what you end up with is a really nice color in your glass. Um, and it's a like a lovely raspberry champagne cocktail. It's festive. Yes. Indeed, hey guys, could you friend. bring over the hats and the horns there? Because I, yeah. I can get in and more uh, the spirit of the thing. All right. Oh, and do that again. <laughs> You're like Tom Cruise. I try my best. Cocktail. All right. Next, we're gonna do an espresso martini, hey, which thanks. is one of my favorites. Hey, thanks. Um, because a lot of folks do energy drinks on New Year's, uh, which I think is <laughs> then, <laughs> then you end up with a crash a little bit later. So I love to do an espresso martini, which is. Uh, espresso vodka, Kahlua, a little bit of vanilla vodka as well to sweeten it up. And that actually has can, uh, a, uh, a, a caffeine in it. So it'll keep you, keep you going for the night. A little up, a little down. Yeah, a little up, a little party down. going. It'll be up way past the night. Real espresso in there. And then you don't have any trouble making it all the way to when the ball drops. So what does it, will it be brown then? Yeah. I guess, kind That's of? That's right. You can do it black or white, however you like your coffee. Black or white? Yeah. Yeah. So if Look you add Bailey's, thing. it's a little bit more creamy. Um, if you add mostly Kahlua, it's a little more black. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 A try. Yeah. Hold on a second, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Karen? Oh, thank you. Nice uh, gentleman. You know, I never are. tried the Cure Royale. Can you oh, pass that over to me, John? Oh. Nicely this done. Yeah. Happy New Year. Can the show end now? <laughs> I think you're making my favorite drink next. What's up? This is a so cranberry good. lemongrass that martini. That sounds so good to me, although yeah. so did this. So one of, one of the secret bartender tricks out there mm. is something called simple syrup. Very easy to make. Just water and sugar and whatever herb you'd like. And in this case, I used lemongrass to make this martini. Um, so you do a little bit of fresh cranberry puree. Yeah, that, that's what the red stuff was? That's right. A little bit of sugar and then some fresh lime juice here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love this stuff. Yeah, like now, it. let me tell you a story while you make this drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Mike <laughs> says, how have I never been to the Raven Lounge? She's like, I can't believe I've never been there. Is it Raven Lounge or Raven Bar? Raven Lounge. 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 Mm -hmm. well, yeah, why have I never been over there? Because you know Mike likes to get around the town. He's a man about town. <laughs> Gadfly out there. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, Mike, you have been there? Yeah, we had you come in. That's right. You had been night. there. It's <laughs> a good night. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a little bit common at uh, the Raven Lounge. I know you're on a good ah! Ah, It was close. Happens sometimes. All right. So you got your fresh cranberry so puree. Cranberry puree. Mm-hmm. All right. The last one oh. is the piece de resistance. This oh. is the one I wanted to try. And the finishing oh, touch. Hold on oh. a second. That's really good. Yeah. Thank you. See, this is the one you get in trouble Ooh. drinking. All right. Mm. This is the big finish. So let's clear off the table here. All mm. right. And this is the one we've all been waiting for. Yeah. We've got our wonderful champagne. And Pop Rocks. How do you think of this? Are you like a kid of the 80s and you were like, oh, I love when they explode <laughs> in my mouth? You know, it's, it's, it's got a, lo a rich history at Raven Lounge. We started doing it and it became the thing to do oh, at geez. the Raven Lounge. So if you're really gentle with it, then you'll see that you get a nice trick. It really doesn't blow up. Yeah. It's because you have to be careful with it. Look at them floating in there. Yeah. Well, it's pretty and probably uh, uh, crunchy. Uh, oh, 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 there we go. Oh, oh, oh. We lost just a little bit. <laughs> There's the explosion we're looking for. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. So, uh, so, okay, let's taste let's this. Let's taste it. Do you, I guess you taste, oh, it's popping. You gotta listen. give me cheers first. Oh, oh, that's the fun of it. Listen. Mmm. Cheers. Happy New Year. Cheers, Kevin.